My name is Amanda Shane. I am the U.S. Policy Specialist for Vestas Wind Systems America. I really enjoy my work. I monitor and advocate for clean energy legislation at state and federal levels. When I started college, I was an English major. I ended up taking an internship with a congressman's campaign. I really loved the impactfulness of politics. I got a perspective on policy making, speaking to people and hearing their day-to-day -day concerns. I got to learn how you bring different people to the table and how you get people of disparate backgrounds to find some common ground. I'm very, very fortunate that my journey gave me a passion for advocacy. I've been able to speak with people both at the highest echelons of our government, but I've also done community organizing. You have to meet people where they're at. And that means going out into communities where they're in their backyard, so to speak. We're currently at this pivotal moment where we can really create precise change. A lot of people talk about offshore wind in this really broad, non-specific way. The more we talk to people and the more information we provide that's not obtuse pie charts and graphs, that really makes a difference. I've had the opportunity to go to some of our factories overseas and the people who are working in those factories, they used to be house painters or dog walkers or babysitters. They were in areas where the old jobs dried up. They didn't want to leave their homes. And so the exciting thing about the National Offshore Wind Institute here at Bristol Community College is it's showcasing a pathway forward where you can stay in the community that you love and build a great life for yourself there. Vestas has a graduate program. Students from all over the world come and do shifts in different departments. They're enthusiastic. They bring great new ideas to it, but also we're showing them different pathways. Regardless of you know, your major or your interests or where your passions lie, there is a spot for you. There are definitely times where I have been the only woman in the room. You have to fight to be heard. It still happens. But I think it's so important that we just continue to show up. You also have to remember that there are things you know and a perspective that you bring. To the credit of my male colleagues, I don't think I have ever been silenced or diminished. People I work with on a day-to-day -day basis, they always really value those perspectives. It's just so good to have people that you can turn to, and especially women, when you are a woman, to know that you're not alone in this, that there are other people that share your enthusiasm. If we want to build an inclusive industry, then we need to reach out to all candidates, and we're building it right here in New England. I've been to Denmark and walked down the plants to see the blades being made. It's so incredible to stand next to a turbine. It's not even mounted on the tower yet. And you just feel so small, but also that you're part of something that's so great. Just seeing the forward momentum that we're making, it's an incredible moment in history.